just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. The Bottle Rock Music Festival. Coming up the final weekend in May. Uh, we will give you a chance to win VIP passes for this huge event. And by the way, it's the last weekend in May. Is that yep, right? 29th, 30th, and 31st. In Napa Valley. Uh, one of the artists performing there is Scott Weiland with his brand new band, former STP. And, uh, of course, uh, Velvet Revolver singer. And uh, now he's got his own project going on. We have Scott on the line. Scott, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great. Now, hey, by the way, the last time I saw you, you were performing live in the KSJO parking lot when I was doing mornings there. Oh, really? Yeah. I, you were breaking the STP album, and you guys, I couldn't believe that we actually had you performing live in a parking lot. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that was very, very cool. But Paul Tonelli wants to confirm something before we go on with this interview. Yeah, we just want to make sure, according to our records from the Beverly Hills Police Department, we want to make sure we're talking to the real Scott Weiland. <laughs> this is the real Scott Weiland, the one that was in the studio that day. That's right. Now, a little background on that one. Uh, apparently, there was some guy who was actually a lead singer in an STP cover band. Yeah, that was last summer with the Beverly Hills PD. What was it like going through that, Scott? I mean, how did that uh, work out for you? Well, it tripped me out. I got, I got a call from my manager saying, uh, yeah, supposedly um, there was just some um, uh, press release that you're supposed to be in jail. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I was like, what are, you, what are you talking about? He was punking me. <laughs> and, um, and I was in the studio recording our, our album that we had just had finished. Probably reach people the quickest was to just record a video from the recording studio just to let people know that it it was an imposter, and I don't know how that possibly could work. I don't know how fingerprints weren't taken or whatever, but, uh, yeah, it's some guy that, that was uh, claiming to be me, and uh, so it was, it was a trip. Big, big announcement this morning, talking about the Bottle Rock Music Festival in Napa, and you're going to be playing there, man. Yes, yes, very excited about it. So you have a, a solo project going on right now. Tell us about it. Well, it's a solo project, but it's also a band. Um, you know, I didn't want to do just another solo album. Uh, the left, you know, my last two solo albums were, were you know, big departures from what I've done with bands. They've been more like art projects. Um, great band, uh, The Wild About. So I think STP fans and Velvet Revolver fans will will be into it as well. I look for I look forward to seeing you guys at the uh, Bottle Rock Napa Music Festival. By the way. Uh, the lineup this year is absolutely fantastic. And I, I, do you know the rest of the lineup this year? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to start with No Doubt is on uh, the bill, uh, headlining one of the nights. Another right. night is Imagine Dragons. And the one that I am really looking forward to is Robert Plant is coming to town, and he's so, headlining. I'm looking forward to seeing Robert Plant as well. I'd love to perform with him sometime. I was going to say, now, do you know Robert Plant? Have you met him before? I've met him before, yes. Uh, he came to see Velvet Revolver play in London when we played there one of the times. Now, what's Robert Plant like to hang around with? What, no, what did you guys do? He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He's just he's he's mellow and uh, and he's he's just an amazing amazing singer performer. Yeah. Um. It, and just a really nice guy. And I've got to ask you this because you've mentioned Velvet Revolver a few times. Uh, I read somewhere that you did not get along with Slash's wife. That now, did you call her Yoko Ono? Um, I, 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 I definitely heard that reference before. Um, I, 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 I'm going to decline to say whether I ever. What was it? Was it because was in that comment? Okay. Was, it, was it because she sang like Yoko Ono? <laughs> and the the only reason I bring that up is. Uh, it broke with TMZ that Slash and his wife are getting divorced now. With I, that, I read about that. Too. All right. Now, with that being the case, any any possibility that maybe you and Slash would get along then? Uh, you know, I have no problem with Slash. Uh, I have no problem with him at all. Um, and you know, it, it's if it, you know, I, I wouldn't be opposed to at some point, you know, doing a. a, a like a reunion tour and yeah that's just my coming from my perspective though um 
I know there's been like you know a little banter before, and and you know it, he was doing his own solo project, so he diffused that. But you know it's like you, you can't. Say, that's the thing about rock and roll; you never can say never. You know what? You heard it here first, folks. I'm calling TMZ. <laughs> Scott Weiland getting back together with with Velvet Revolver. <laughs> Yeah, no, not quite. Hey, no, I, no, I got my own project right now that exactly. I'm getting ready to launch, and and uh, the first singles coming out in uh, in this month. So now, along the same lines, and looking back on STP and Velvet Revolver, let's suspend uh, reality for a second. You've died. You've gone to heaven. You're at the pearly gates, and Saint Peter says, Scott, I'm going to give you five more years of creating music. The one condition is you either have to go back to STP. Or you have to go back to Velvet Revolver. Which do you choose? That's a, that's a dif- difficult one um, because you know th- th- there was all the the stuff that went on with the with me leaving STP. It made things really confusing, and uh, and all I can say is that you know t- time heals wounds. Um, and it, it would it, it would depend on on what the situation was really, uh, and it's, it's it's a hard one to say. I mean, I had great years with both bands um, and a great career with both bands. Hey Scott, you know what? You're a good guy, and I appreciate you didn't dodge anything. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the uh, Bottle Rock Music Festival. One last note: uh, you were born. You're a Bay Area guy. You were born in San Jose. You were born. Yes. You were born at the same hospital where I had my kidney stone operation. <laughs> really? Yes, Kaiser in San Jose. That's a nice claim yeah. to fame. <laughs> Felt yeah, like and I, I have to say, you know, I've, I've never, um, I've never uh, been to Napa before. Um, I have been to uh, Sonoma, which is, you know, cl- very close by. Right. We have uh, very, very close friends. Are actually our best friends that own a, a winery. They're they're going to be pouring at Bottle Rocket, and that that winery is called red car and it's amazing oh then i've got to ask you with all the, i've seen you you with all the rehab are you still drinking wine uh, well wine <laughs> a little bit here and there that's the only thing that i indulge in though well scott i look forward to having some wine with you at bottle rock definitely all right good guy scott weil and look forward to uh, him at bottle rock uh, music festival thanks for calling us scott all right thank you very much all right, there you go. Hey, you know what? Now that I, uh, good guy. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. N- now that I know he's uh, kind of imbibing again, he might be one of my picks in the death pool. Oh, huh? no, you, you did. <laughs> as long as he makes it to the Bottle Rock Music Festival. Oh, my God. You make sure you hung up the phone first before you <laughs> oh, say yeah. that. I looked. I made sure I hung up. <laughs> I think tickets go on sale Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. Thursday morning, 10 o'clock. Yep. So uh, Robert Plant, Scott Weiland, The Wildabouts, No Doubt, Imagine Dragons, Snoop Dogg playing wow. there. Cage the Elephant, Foster the People. They had a huge hit last year. Yep. Just some of the... And, and the thing I like about this uh, festival, the the bill is just varied. I mean, you get every kind of music. A little bit of everything. Exactly. So that's a big deal. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.